Hey, welcome back to Chaotic Casuals. It's me, Jose. And what a time it is to be a Fallout fan. Um, in fact, if you're a Fallout fan thus far, it's kind of like you don't have to be ashamed of being a Fallout fan again. New Vegas fans are obviously their own breed. Um, but yeah, okay. So when I think of Fallout, um, not to get like too personal, but I played the shit out of Fallout 4. Okay, let me actually go with some context before that. My first Fallout game was Fallout 3. And I remember doing some of the D DLCs. Like, I know I did Welcome to the Pit. And the only one I didn't do was Operation. No, the, the one with space, the aliens. But yeah, and then years, years later, um, I bought a used copy of New Vegas and I beat that. Right? Never touched the expansions. So, my biggest Fallout, though, that I spent the most time was probably Fallout 4. And the reason is because I was going through, like, a huge uh, breakup. You know what I mean? I was, like, living by myself. Um, I was living in a basement. And the only time I would go outside was to go out of work. And I was, like, working part-time. And, um, yeah, I had trouble paying the bills. My rent was a little late. Um, the internet was shut off. And so all I had was just my TV, um, Fallout, and then my PlayStation 4. So, like, no internet to go play anything online. And when I tell you, being in a very depressive state really immerse, like immerses you. You see, immerses you. Really does that to uh, this particular game. I mean, at least for me, it did. And I now, when I look back out of it, I don't really look at that depressing time with like such um, sadness. In fact, I kind of look at it as like with a, in a very highlight. I spent a lot of time playing that game. I think I had about like maybe four or five hundred hours between two characters playing Fallout 4. And now, I think, that there's, okay, there's people who don't really like Fallout 4. You could argue it's not like the other Fallouts or what makes Fallout special. But I think that if you took away, like picture a world, right, where there was no Fallout 1, 2, or 3 right or in new vegas right in fact the first entry of fallout was fallout 4 now picture it coming out today not even years ago on a playstation 4 with uh you know playstation 5 graphics and or you know series x or just you know the stuff that mods have been doing and you they called it a survival game now you look at the survival games going on today and there's, there's, there hasn't been like a super perfect one, right? There's just been kind of like, you know, there, there's nothing that like really stands out. I mean, maybe there is. I, I haven't touched it. I mean, I guess survivals are very like, um, it's a genre that you could, you either really get into it or you just absolutely hate it, you know? So let's say they advertise it as a survival game. In fact, the base game was survival mode and the other games was just like story mode or just like that right i think it would be considered one of the best if not the best survival game ever made if they said that's what that's for the base building just the, the, the whole communities that you can have like you know supply lines the storylines the characters and i think it's only bogged down by people who want it to be something different um a completely you know just what was it what's missing from fallout in vegas versus fallout 4 Right, um, you have the karma system for one. Uh, your protagonist, your protagonist talks, and when you look at those things, um, if you were looking at it from a perspective like, no, this is what Fallout means to me, then yeah, you might actually dislike it. But if you took away all that extra shit, man, I don't think that it would be looked. I think it would be looked at in such a higher praise. Um, than it would ever have been, you know, because it's personally my favorite Fallout game, and that's just from playing three in New Vegas, and and I just actually recently beat New Vegas again. Um, I'll get into that in a second, and I'm replaying Fallout Four with the new update, and I started playing New Vegas like right before it was. I saw there was a sale on the Xbox Store. And I was like, oh shit, 60% off, and it was already cheap. I, I bought, like, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and all the expansions for, like, 26 bucks. I think there was two expansions I didn't get, or maybe just one I didn't get on for Fallout 3. 
So, although I had fun with it, there were parts that felt really tedious. Like, I looked all over the place on the internet, and I couldn't find a sprint button. And then I, chat GPU said that, like, um, the console version, there wasn't any. Because um, it kept saying to push the, the stick forward, but that just wasn't working for me. So, I kind of just, like, walked. And to put things in perspective, I've been playing, uh, when I sneak on um, Fallout 4, it feels faster than just the walking I did in New Vegas. Like, I know in the PC version, I think you can hold s skip, I mean skip, a space, and you'll sprint forward. So just getting around felt like really uh, tedious for me. Not in the beginning. It was only after like maybe 20 hours that I started to get a little exhausted. And um, then I got towards the end where I was at the last mission. I was like, okay, let me try the expansions. So I looked online to see what order of expansions I should do it. And I did two of them. And I only, come, okay, I started two of them. I only beat one of them because I actually really hated it. Um... I know the first one I did was Honest Hearts, and I know a lot of people love that, but just, I didn't like the setting. I didn't like um, the, the the characters in there, like how they were all like dressed tribal, and how they spoke. There was just nothing that just like, you know, like for some reason it just took me out of the immersion, and I can't really point out why. Um, to be fair though, I think I appreciate the Fallout 4 setting. I don't know. I have to go back to Fallout 3 to see if it has anything to do with it. But I also like being in the city more than anything else. Like, going into buildings and, like, scavenging for stuff. You know? Um, I remember thinking a long time ago when I f first got into, like, The Walking Dead TV show. Like, this is... Like, I had... I'm, I know that kind of gets off the rails. Like, by the time I, The Walking Dead comic had finished... The TV shows what's it's like its own thing, but around the time that it was like good, you know, um, I remember thinking like, man, this this whole world would make a great type of Fallout type of game, you know, Fallout Skyrim, Outer Worlds, that type of stuff. But anyway, um, and I think Fallout Four really scratched that itch because the base, like I said, the base building itself is not something that I'm really interested in video games, but for some reason in this particular game. I just really enjoyed it. I loved scavenging for parts, which I really missed when I played New Vegas because half the time I would just wouldn't loot anything. Like, I didn't... I guess I could have done things to, like, upgrade my items and stuff like that. But since I didn't do that, there was just junk. And with Fallout 4, all the junk has, like, a use. So there's always an incentive to pick it up. You can find use for it no matter what it is. Like, a desk fan has parts in it, you know? So, I guess I would have to get the opinion of people who play a lot of survival games, because, admittedly, I don't. Um, I think I played Conan um, Barbarians for a little bit. Um, n not that long, I, just, I tried Fortnite, Fortnite Lego, some Minecraft, and like I said, those games were fun. I did want to try, I did want to try that, like, um, Lord of the Rings one with the, the dwarves. I know I wanted to try that. Something about that just seemed like really neat to me. I know it was just like a very mediocre other than the Lord of the Rings franchise. But anyway, I digress. So, oh, I'm getting all over the place. Okay. Oh, yeah, back to the, uh, the expansions and why I hated them. So, I actually went through it pretty quickly because I, I heard the story gets really good. But just being in that setting and seeing all those like rocks and just knowing that I would have to go around things to get around versus just like going you know like instead of like there's no alleyways there's no like long fields and i felt very trapped you know and so i basically just what was it you, there's a point where you, you talk to this guy and he has the map and you, you bring him a bunch of shit and he you ask for the map he's like okay but i need you to go do some other shit for this chick right and he's like dude let me just get the fucking map and i kept bothering him about it and then he started shooting at me Funny enough, he was a pacifist, but whatever. And I killed him. Then all the tribes people were killing me. My, my companion just fucked off. And then I was just like, you know what? And I just kind of killed my way to the exit, and I got the fuck out of there. Like, I felt like the <laughs> immersion way. Like, immersion. Like, I, I did feel immersed because I wanted to fucking leave. And your character wants to get out of there, right? It's just trying to find a way out. And that's exactly what I was doing. And um, I left. I was like, Ugh. you know? 
and I went back to that world. I was like, okay, let me try the other expansion. <clears throat> I forgot the name. Uh, you get kidnapped or something like that, and you put with this collar on. I fucking hated that too, because I'm like, why? Didn't, like a lot of people like this. What? What's? Why am I not enjoying this? And I think it's because you're kind of forced into this linear level, in a way, and you have to do those things to get out of that levels, where. My cat's making noises. Um, where you, you like any other mission. If you don't like a mission in Fallout, unless you're trying to progress the story forward, you you gotta you can just leave and just go somewhere else or do something else. Um, that's why like I never beat Far Harbor. I had all that time in that game, and by the time Far Harbor came out, like I was ready like over everything. And I, I was like doing fine, so I had got stuck on this puzzle. And it was a glitch. Like, there was a, okay, you had to do this annoying puzzle. And I got to the third part of that, and like, just looking at YouTube videos, and just like, I just couldn't like wrap my mind. I'm like, not good at puzzles, right? I want to, that's probably one of the reasons I don't like, um, and I didn't enjoy Breath of the Wild, and I couldn't finish it. But yeah, so you're forced to do that to progress the story forward. And then it glitched out, so I had to like reload a save that was like three hours before that. So I just kind of checked out. I did beat the expansion afterwards, the Nuka Cola one. And, but that's okay. I guess that's all context of what type of you know player I am into this world. Now, one thing I guess they all have in common. I think my cat's chasing after a fly or something. All right, if you see her in the background. Um, one thing I did notice with well, this one thing is like is uh, the world itself though. It's really enjoyable, and I think that's why, like, I thought it was a post-apocalyptic... I have trouble saying that word, guys, just please. Um, post-apocalyptic world. But then, I've always wanted uh, to watch a movie about that, or a show. Like, I, there was one with Denzel. That was alright, but it just wasn't Fallout. And then there was a road, and I can never get myself to watch it. I heard that was a good movie, but it's just not the same. And because the Fallout world is very unique to itself. And then the show comes out, and I'm going to get to that in a second. The sh um, show comes out, and they, they fucking nail it. My, I know there's some people who don't like it because, uh, you know, some of the lore stuff, whatever. But you have to admit, that, that world, they fucking nailed it out of part. Like the, the, it doesn't just feel like fan service or like just a bunch of Easter eggs. They're there, but everything just feels, feels naturally, the way they did things. So, um, so yeah, I did the expansions. No, I didn't do the expansions. I hated the DLC, and I was just like, all right, I got to get out of this world. I'm just going to beat this. And I realized that I th really think that would be a million times more enjoyable if either A, I played it on the PC, where there was like a lot of quality of life mods, or B, that they just made an update. Um, like a, just a remaster or just something that puts things like a 60 frames per second, quality, quality of life improvements. I mean, they might have to do that because Fallout, and it's, it's super popular again, right, um, with the TV show. Like, so many people, is like the high, higher uh, player counts and all these things. You know, 76 has like a bunch of player counts now that are like record for, their, for themselves or whatever, um, going nuts. So I think the fastest way they can pump out a Fallout game is just remastering those. So and then maybe have another studio just make Fallout Five or like a side Fallout. But those remasters really should come out. You know what I mean? They don't have to be um, super. Like they don't. They don't have to be super. Super like you know. Like, like, they don't have to be remade, you know what I mean? It's just a good remaster, a good coat of paint. Although, you can't fuck that up. Um, the GTA Trilogy comes to mind. So, I'm glad Fallout's doing well. I'm glad a lot of people are enjoying it. Like, even my mom's watching it. Um, she's asking me questions and, like, calling me about it. Uh, I talked to, like, a close friend of mine who's, like, into Fallout. Like, she beat her line. Was just, it's back in a conversation. Replaying uh, Fallout 4 again. Because um, I had did uh, the Railroad, I had did the um, Institute and the Minutemen, but I never did the Brotherhood of Steel, so now I'm doing that kind of playthrough. So, I'm really excited about where this goes. I really hope that they do something video game-wise, 
just to give us more of what we want. I know I've wanted it for a long time. I was kind of sad when they announced that it was going to come after Elder Scrolls. But, and then 76 just doesn't scratch the same itch. Um, although, I played it on PlayStation 5, and it does run smoother than it does on PlayStation 4. Um, I'm mainly a console gamer, so, obviously. So, um, what do you guys think? Man, like, do you think that if it was marketed a different way, like if the other ones didn't exist, would we look at, wouldn't it be more universally loved? Um, I know I didn't get much in the TV show. I'll probably, I'm re-watching it again a second time, and I'll probably touch back on that again when I watch it again. Like, because I'm, like, on episode three again after watching it, because I wanted to, like, really see, I wanted to watch the show and then watch it knowing what I know happens. And, yeah. So, anyway, have a great day, guys. Um, see you later.